Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWaveDeskFocus.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry and today is April the 10th, 2019 and the time is at 3.30 a.m. GMT. Okay, so today we're going to be discussing the Nikkei. Uh, this is the 60 minutes chart here and we are looking at some sort of an impulsive structure right so you can see in, th in this limited one hour view you see that this pullback here ended with two okay as a zigzag ABC uh, and then the rally from there is in five waves okay so we got this one two three four five so that will be in the wave three okay that will be in the wave 3 here and um, currently doing the pullback in the wave 4 already hit this blue box inflection area with the right side higher okay which means that we are still favoring the upside for now as long as this level is not broken or is not violated um, we still like it higher now uh, this one is in a zigzag ABC and you see this is a textbook example where the C equal to the A here and then immediately you get the reaction higher from here okay now this then means that uh, the Nikkei can be already starting the wave 5 right but in order for this now a lot of people uh, make a mistake by not, uh, not a lot of people reacting to the price action instead of anticipating so a lot of people um, for example when they did not they, if they are trying to buy they did not buy the blue box and they're trying to buy somewhere in the middle after the most has taken place well but that's not the right way to do it in our system okay and for now the Nikkei really has to break above this wave 3 right now okay to confirm that this is really in the 4 and that the wave 5 already starts it has to break above this okay otherwise we still can be doing a double correction like this so in other words uh, this could be ending only in the W right as a double zigzag so you uh, put this uh, lower the degree right you lower the degree of the ABC like this and it can still do a double correction when this happens so you got ABC like this and then you've got an X here right followed by the Y so this can happen unless and until we do get a break above wave 3 but uh, for now we do have the reaction that we are looking for from this blue box uh, the, the index has started to uh, rally again or to at least to kind of uh, bounce a little bit and then now remains to be seen if we can go to new high from here or we're gonna do another leg lower again afterwards uh, as a double correction now uh, if you recall if this is really with 4 typically uh, the Fibonacci relationship between uh, with 4 and with 3 typically is you can also measure it using the retracement right so typically in the wave 4 should be somewhere between 23.6 and 38.2 this is just a guide guys it's not like a rule it's a guide usually it's between this but it's not like it has to or it must sometimes it can be a little bit below and so on uh, the orthodox Elliott wave suggests that it should not overlap with the previous wave 1 in, in the in the same degree right so we cannot see where the wave 1 is but uh, in order for this unless it's a diagonal of course unless it's a diagonal but otherwise uh, now we are within this 23.6 38.2 so that's a nice confluence there between uh, ABC uh, extension at 100% as well as 23.6 38.2% retracement so we got an overlap of the possible area where we for should finish okay so now we should be looking either going to new high or to a double correction okay so now looking a little bit at the uh, larger degree now again this is not a complete view for a complete view in all time frames and regular update you can always try our service 14 days for free and the link is in the description of the video 
Now we can see right here in the Nikkei, starting from this low, which is December 26, right? So all the world indices, as you guys realize, they all bottom at the same date or same around the same period on December 20, late December 2018, and they all have has been rallying so far until today, right? Now we can see right here. Uh, this is the proposed count. Now we got two different ways to look at it, right? This is uh, I think this is the conservative way to look at it, right? Uh, you got this two, three, four here on the one hour. So that's the two, three, and then four, and this has to be a one. Now this means this is a five ways up, all right? Because it's one, two, three, four, five, and then that means that uh, somewhere from here, this looks also like a five waves, right? It looks like a five waves. So you got this A, B, and then C leg, right? Uh, so it's a it's A, B, C within the Y leg here, right? So we got so in other words, in this proposed view here. You got from December 2018 a connector of a WXY, right? A connector of a WXY. So, I mean, you can label this if you want, or you label it whatever you you know, like ABC. Let's say like this. So you got a double zigzag, so to speak, right? You got a double zigzag. Uh, so you got WX, and then now the Y has not fully reached the hundred percent. So you want to keep pushing it on the upside until it reaches the minimum which is 22 to 100 okay now another way to look at it is just the following if you look at the momentum <coughs> and you notice here that in the momentum okay uh, this move or this swing here actually is the biggest swing out of all this swing here so you see this swing you have this swing the pullback you have, and then you have this swing and then you have this swing so this swing looks to be the biggest one from this low here right from this low in the momentum not in the price in the price you cannot see it very well so what that means is there's a possibility actually that this becomes your connector here right this becomes your connector from the lows so in other words instead of WX here you can adjust a little bit the count and this is the more aggressive way uh, so let's say this is A right and this is B right so I can label this I can I can label this as a diagonal, right? Easy. A B C right? So you got an A B C zigzag ending a W and then you got an X and then what that means in this view is if you do get another leg higher, in fact that will only end the width A of your six. So in other words, the hundred percent is no longer this box anymore because then you would have to measure another hundred percent from this low to the W to the X and then you get a target or towards 23.570 if that's the case right so this is actually more bullish uh, because then you're expecting this five waves only to end with A of Y and then you got a B of Y followed by another like higher C of Y before we finally end this cycle from December 2018 so there are two views about it uh, but like sa like I said the more sort of conservative way to do it is the following but even with the more sort of uh, conservative way to do it you are still expecting one more like higher because uh, ideally it will reach the hundred percent of the WXY and uh, so currently still has not done it right so again the hundred percent is going to be at least 22 170 here and so that's why I think still possible right now for Nikkei to do one more push higher okay before we end uh, before possibly possibly ending this and then remember it doesn't necessarily have to sell off from here because it could have been this could have been your connector from the low instead and then that if that's the case then we can actually extend even more uh, even higher okay so I hope that you enjoyed the you enjoyed the video uh, we talk about this thing uh, every day in the live session live trading room as well and uh, we tend to not just talk about the market but also trying to explain the logic behind it and explain 
uh, a little bit teaching also is going to be involved as well so uh, hope to en you enjoy the video and see you all again tomorrow